hello beautiful people welcome to my youtube channel on today's video we are making lemon flavored scones to make this we are going to need two cups of inkomazi or your favorite brand of amasi one cup of flour which you're going to use later to flour the surface six eggs two cups of brown sugar white sugar should still work Two tablespoons of lemon juice, one spoon of vanilla essence, two tablespoons of lemon zest, eight teaspoons of baking powder, 500 grams of rama, a brush which you'll we'll use to a brush the dough, a roller. And we used the Robertson's baking powder. Lastly, we're going to need 8 cups of cake flour itself. First, we're going to mix all the dry ingredients, which is your cake flour, your sugar, and baking powder. Stir, stir, stir until everything is mixed very nicely. Next, I'll be adding the butter and I'm going to use my hands to mix it with the cake flour because we want to achieve a crumb like texture of the cake flour and we should also be careful that as we try to achieve that we don't over mix the mixture. It's going to end up looking crumb like which is what we want. The crumbs are coming out nicely and then I'm going to make a hole on the flour so that when I pour my mixture everything will be ready. Using a separate bowl I'm going to mix my inkomazi, eggs and vanilla essence. Next I'll be adding my lemon zest and mixing until everything is combined. I'll be adding the lemon juice once these ones are all mixed now I'm adding the lemon zest as soon as I'm done with that I'm going to pour the mixture into the big bowl which has the flour and all the dry ingredients and mix using my hand one thing that you should be aware of is that you do not over mix everything once I'm done with mixing I'm going to break one egg for the egg washing of the scones when I'm done placing them in a pan. I'm going to use that one cup of cake flour that I had put aside to flour the surface and also flour the rolling pin and just flatten my dough very nicely. It should be about 1.5 centimeters so that the scones are not too thin. Please make sure that you, you have preheated your oven to 180 degrees at this point. I used a round cookie cutter which is suitable for cutting scones. Now I am egg washing my scones with the egg to get a golden color. Next, the pan will be going into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes or until a skewer comes out clean when you test the scones. My scones are now ready to be eaten. They're so golden and beautiful like guys look at that i promise like if you try this recipe you're gonna be so happy with it i want you to see how soft the scones are on the inside would you look at that i swear dry scones are a myth thank you guys for watching my video i hope you enjoyed it and we'll be trying this recipe please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching